How's it going guys? I'm Grace, this is Game On, and I've got the best gaming news of the day for you. First up, fans of the Half-Life franchise have come together to create a beautiful looking trailer for Half-Life 3, currently a game that only exists in dreams. It seems they were so desperate for a sequel for Half-Life 2 that they've made this and it looks pretty good. But as April Fool's Day looms, I guess we can prepare to see a lot more about Half-Life 3 as we always do. Valve boss Gabe Newell took to Reddit at the beginning of this month and broke the Ask Me Anything rules by completely ignoring all Half-Life 3 questions. So we can't hope to hear anything anytime soon. Next up, according to an interview with Edge, Ubisoft don't have any plans on giving up games development on the PS3 or Xbox 360 anytime soon. Ubisoft's VP Reynard has said they will continue to support the last generation platforms for several more years. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag came out on both last and next gen consoles and Watch Dogs is also lined up for them too. But we have seen issues with Dark Souls 2 where they created the last gen with a next gen engine and they had to downgrade on the graphics and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt where the devs have said compromise must be made in order to accommodate for both generations. But Reynard replied to the view that it's a choice even when you do a game that has old gen and new gen versions, we decide which one is lead. And finally, the huge success of Bravely Default has got the games developers Square Enix rethinking the way they make their games and this rethinking could affect the way the next Hitman title is created. According to an interview with Square Enix president Matsuda, he said that they had lost their way a bit when trying to make home console games for the global audience. He said the development team for Hitman Absolution really struggled in this regard. They implemented a vast amount of elements for the mass instead of for the core fans as a way to try and get as many new players as possible. They do have a host of new games with Tomb Raider, Deus Ex, Hitman and Final Fantasy XV. Thanks for watching Game On News. If you haven't played Infamous Second Son or Dark Souls 2 yet, we've got reviews for those over here and here, so check those out. I'm here every day from Monday to Friday. We've got a Child of Light preview coming out this week, so subscribe and I'll see you next time.